And as we keep looking at those, two separate autopsies have come to the same conclusion now that George Floyd's death can be classified as a homicide. But as Michael Serapio joins me, the autopsies differ in ways, Michael, that could make a big difference as pressure mounts for more charges to be laid against the other three police officers. Absolutely, absolutely Heather. And uh, again, these are two separate autopsies, one from the official medical coroner, the other one, a private coroner's team hired uh, by the family, the Floyd family themselves. And it all goes to that horrific image that has been circulating for days now. And forgive us, we're going to show it once again. Again, it is a graphic image, but also important here because it was this action, then Officer Chauvin placing his knee on uh, Floyd's neck for over eight, nearly nine minutes that the family's coroner report says caused asphyxiation and brought about death. Uh, the compression on the neck, which can interfere with oxygen to the brain, the compression to the back, which interferes with breathing. And that is leading lawyers for the family to conclude this was a clear case of homicide. Take a listen. Yes, our findings do differ. Some of the information I read from that complaint um, state that there was no evidence of traumatic asphyxia. This is the point in which we do disagree that there is evidence in this case of mechanical or traumatic asphyxia. Now, forgive us, that is actually the uh, one of the uh coroners that was hired by the family, but it, she does go to the difference between their report and the report that was released by Hennepin County, which covers the city of Minneapolis. Uh, they don't dispute the homicide, the official coroner, but they are not so clear on asphyxia. In fact, their preliminary report says George Floyd had underlying heart conditions. Reportedly, it also noted fentanyl and methamphetamine were among, quote, significant conditions, although no specifics on that. And that leads the initial report, and again, just the initial report, from the medical examiner to conclude that the officers are quote, likely contributed to his death. And as we said, that is a point of contradiction uh, regarding the details. But uh, again, that could have some uh, implications for the criminal case going forward. But the overall conclusion is still the same, that this is a case of homicide. And at the end of the day, George Floyd lost his life, Heather. Michael, uh, we've looked live at Minneapolis this morning. I want to bring up a live picture of Houston because we're going to turn our focus to there for just a moment. It's early morning in Houston. Um, George Floyd was part of the third ward at Houston. He went to high school, Jack Yates in Houston. His family is still there. And we know that his funeral will be held there one week from today. But today, Michael, later this afternoon at 3 p.m. local, we're going to be watching because there's a major march. They expect thousands of people, family members to participate. This has all been organized by a local rapper. And again, it's part of the tribute to George Floyd that is just going to increase in the, his family's community, his community, between now and next Tuesday for his funeral date. You're right. It, it really does underline the, the national pain that is being felt in the United States as a result of his death. Uh, but, you know, as we take a look at the memorials uh, that essentially have been popping up around Minneapolis, this one in front of the store where he was actually killed by police, uh, you know, his body will be returned to Texas as we talk about the funeral plans here, Heather. Uh, again, as you state, this is where he, he grew up, where his family still resides. But memorials will also be taking place in Minneapolis, the city which he did call home. Another will also be held in Charlotte, North Carolina, where he was born. Uh, and again, an indication of just how much pain this is that so many people in so many cities uh, want to memorialize George Floyd, but also the cities in which he lived, claiming uh, their love for him to this day. And uh, yesterday, we should also note that it became public that Floyd Mayweather, the legendary boxer, he did reach out to the Floyd family. He offered to pay for all the funeral services and the memorials in those three cities, and the family has accepted, Heather. And he will say nothing else on that. No more interviews from Floyd Mayweather, but uh, what a gesture from mm -hmm. him. Michael, thank you very much.